is going on? Peter Cruz here. Just a real quick video. Um, actually, in the studio, I've actually opened up my case on my DAW. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the UAD to solo card. Um, been doing the math, and actually, if I put three solo cards in there, I get more plug in vouchers and stuff, and I'd still come out ahead. Anyway, um, just math, I'm working on in my head or whatever but anyway I wanted to take you know take a quick second to go ahead and show you guys uh, I guess not exactly a DIY DIY install I'm not gonna go through the whole procedure but I'm gonna go ahead and you know go through and uh, start putting the card in and get the, and get the camera running so um, anyway let's take a quick look so I've never done one of these before on YouTube so rock on okay <clears throat> here's my um, and mind you, I'm working on this by myself, so I don't have a cameraman, so I kind of have to... Here's my PC, my DAW. It's a, uh, an 8, well, it's an Antec case. It's a, uh, gotta forget which, um, God, P something. I forget the exact model number of the case. But anyway, I've got a uh, Antec, um, let's go in a little bit closer here. Sorry for the, it's an Antec Earthwatt 750. Uh, I've got number of hard drives in here. Let me kind of put this like this. I've got a number of hard drives in here and in here. I think a total of like three terabytes or something like that. Um, take a look at the motherboard. I didn't take the whole case out because I'm going to plug it in, plug in the card real quick and get to running. But I've got an i7. Got a uh, Intel i7 underneath there and this is an Asus motherboard. It's a... Uh, where is it here? P... 8P67 and this is actually one um, and you can see in the back I got the USB 3.0 um, I mean it's got SATA in I got like I don't know eight or ten SATA ports on this thing I and mean, it's really really cool uh, I actually built this I want to say a year or two ago I forget exactly when uh, it the i7s were fairly new at the time um, so I went ahead and built it then I've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM I got like four of the four gigabyte uh, dim chips in there. Anyway, so here's my, um, let me switch around here, sorry. <clears throat> right. So here you can see I've got my video card is here and it's a ATI what well, it's a 5760 or 57 or some it's a 5 thousand series something or other it does decent for graphics so if i want to play like guild wars 2 or something like that i can do that uh or like you know tf2 um but for the most part it's got the two heads on the back so i'm running dual monitor on my setup which you could probably see up there and um anyway and then i've got my three uad1 cards one, two, and three. You can see the heat sinks. Those are black little heat sinks there. One, two, and a little bit further up. Oh, one, two. There you go. One right above the other. One, two, and three. Um, so I'm going to pop those out and pop in the... Um, Go ahead, I'm going to pop those out and pop in my UAD2 solo card. But before I actually go ahead and do that, I'm actually going to pop the new card in first because of the um, licensing and so forth of all the plugins. I've got a hefty amount of, of, of funds tied up in plugins from uh, Universal Audio on the UAD1 cards. I mean, I've got like the Neve. I didn't get the Neve bundle because I already had some of the Neve plugins when they came out with the bundle. So I've got all of them except, I guess, the newest EQ, the 31 something or other. I don't have that one on the Neve, uh, from the Neve bundle. But I've got the the compressor, you know, the bus compressor. I've got the uh, both the 1081, the 1073. Um, I got the 1176, I got the LA-2A, uh, Fairchild, I've got the Cambridge EQ. Um, I bought the, the 4K bus compressor before they actually got licensed by SSL, and I've actually got a free voucher plug-in, uh, a free voucher code or whatever to convert it to the official licensed SSL uh, 
uh, SSLG bus comp or whatever they call it. Um, and I've got a whole, I mean, I've got the, uh, the precision, precision multiband compressor. I mean, I've got a, a, a bunch of plugins. You know, I've got the Poltec uh, plugin, the original one, not the new one they just came out with. But all that, all those plugins will basically uh, transfer to my new card because you can put, I guess, four cards in your system at one time. So I'm going to put this card in the system here. Uh, and it, that supposedly the software uh, will alert me to upgrade or transfer all my plugins to the UAD2 platform. Once I've done that, then um, then I'll be able to safely remove my UAD1 cards out of my account, essentially, remove them and pop in another UAD2 card, which then inherit all the new plugins as well, all the existing plugins that I've already bought. Um, so that's that's my current plan right now. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Um, I had a few minutes this morning, and while I had the computer, um, I wanted to at least show you the inside of the computer so I could see what the inside of a DAW looks like in case you hadn't seen one before. So, um, and actually I thought of it, I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, kind of like, oh my God, here I am getting ready to uh, purchase a second UAD2 card, and I wasn't exactly sure if I had another PCI E slot available. See, when I bought this motherboard, I selected this motherboard primarily because it had three PCI slots, which since I had the UAD1 cards, they required a, a PCI slot, which is the older format, the older architecture or whatever, and, and a PC. Um, and UAD, uh, Universal Audio began use, switch, transitioning stuff over to the, UA, uh, to the PCIe uh, slots. So, it occurred to me last night, I was like, oh, I don't know how many slots I have available. Here I am going to be stocking up on these new UAD2 cards, which are PCIe only, or the Firewire if you do the satellite version. Um, and I was like, well, I need to double check what I've got available. So um, I, that what prompted me to open the computer and check my slots before I order a second card. Because um, if I didn't have the slots available, this card was going to go back, and I was going to go ahead and get me a quad or, 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 or a duo or whatever. Um, to go ahead and, and just fit one card in the computer to handle all the processing power that I would need. So, anyway, um, wanted to give you guys a um, quick little video on that. I mean, no fancy editing or subtitles or nothing. Just uh, just uh, take a look at my computer and the, the UAD2. Um, and I think since I've got the actual, I've counted my PCI slots, I've actually got three open. Uh, excuse me, PCIe slots. I've got three of those available plus the three PCI slots that are in there that I'm going to empty out because I'm going to take those cards out of my computer uh, and then upgrade to the latest software and then go ahead and get my new plugins. So um, things are shaping up, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Oh, a little shaky here with the camera. Um, thanks for stopping in and uh, rock on. And we'll catch you later.